Our belief is that we are doing something that is making a structural transformation in our industry. This transformational inspiration is something that we want to create in order to engage more people and to make society aware of the importance of doing this for the future of the planet. One of the challenges that the world's going to have is how do we gather all of this plastic waste to reuse it? It's distributed throughout society. How do we get it back in scale and figure out how to recycle that through advanced recycling technologies? Our plastic offers countless benefits to society if correctly consumed and discarded. And that's why plastic was little by little replacing other materials in our modern society. In our plastic is 100% recyclable, and that's why it's perfect for the circular economy. When Brascom was founded in 2002, the foundation of the company was really built on sustainable development goals, which applies to environmental as well as social. So people and the environment. We're the largest polyolefins producer in the Americas. We're the largest PP producer. And we're also the largest global producer of biopolymers. Our ambition is to be the leader in terms of greenhouse emissions in the chemical industry worldwide. From 2008 to 2020, Braskem was able to deliver a 17% reduction of CO2 intensity. That's equivalent to the emissions of the cars in the city of Sao Paulo for one year. 2021, Braskem created seven macro objectives to be able to reach the carbon neutrality by 2050. Health and safety, financial results, eliminating plastic waste, combating climate change, operating eco-efficiency, social responsibility and human rights, and sustainable innovation. The I'm Green Biobased project uh, is the production of uh, green polyethylene out of ethanol from sugarcane. So the idea is to use a renewable feedstock to get to the same material that's today widely used in our industry for several different applications. The main difference is that it fixates CO2 from the atmosphere instead of releasing CO2 when it's produced. So the net benefit of the green polyethylene compared to the conventional polyethylene is five tons of CO2 per ton of polyethylene. The I'm Green is exactly the same product as the conventional polyethylene, thus being able to use the same equipments, the same applications, and as well as the polyethylene, it's also recyclable. And today, when we have our efforts to enhance recycling, we see that we are trying to recycle things that maybe they were not conceived to be recycled in the end. That's why we have a methodology that we call design for environment, to go back and to look at the products and the way they were designed and how they can be modified in order uh, to be uh, better recycled after they end their life cycle. We have to create awareness, education, and the methods for recycling. Polypropylene uh, is the second largest thermoplastic resin consumed in the world. That's really valuable across multiple chains. Food, beverage, medical, automotive, housing. So it's fundamental to our everyday lives. So what Braskem has been doing is we've been funding, we're a founding member, of the Polypropylene Recycling Coalition. And so when we think about some of the sustainability partnerships that we created to try to influence society around us, Anique is the uh, chemical association in Mexico, similar to the American Chemistry Council here in the US. And we partner with them, again, around awareness, around education. And we run programs to teach communities how to gather up plastic waste, how to recycle plastic waste, what it can be used for, um, how, to, how to set up ecosystems, and it gathers the whole community together and creates this collective energy that's really positive to make sure that we're doing the most responsible thing around plastics in, in our environment. Brascom is also working in several different contracts related with the solar energy and wind energy for our plants in Brazil. The Vesta was the electrification of our energy system. We put new high-performance turbines. It was developed with Siemens. And with this project, we'll be able to reduce about 10% 
of the energy consumption. Another project is the Aquapolo, done seven years ago, and it uses all the water from the cracker that was before discarded. It's now reused with a lot of efficiency. Braskem is also working with Educatu that developed a platform for elementary schools, students and teachers to try to explain to them not only the conscious consumption, but also the correct discard of plastics. Another very relevant partnership we have is with Valoren in, in Dayatuba at the countryside of Sao Paulo to produce mechanical recycled products out of waste as well. And we're gonna produce 14,000 metric tons of recycled products out of this partnership. Another with Decipar, with its environmental engineering company to divert about 36 million of packaging units that will generate 2,000 metric tons of recycled products. Sermais is a project where we have two major objectives. One is really to enhance the generation of waste for the chain. And the other one is the social development. Since last year, 40 different cooperatives and over 1,200 of workers were supported by this initiative. Our target is really to increase the quality of the waste that they screen. And by doing that, they're going to have products that are better sorted, better cleaned, and in that sense, they're going to have a better income in the end of the process. Collaboration is fundamental. When we talk about fighting climate change, uh, this is something that none of the stakeholders will be able to tackle alone. This is a solution that will come for the coordinated efforts from society, government, industry, and all the other stakeholders in the value chain. And besides that, we will continue developing our green products that capture carbon from the atmosphere instead of emitting it. This will help us to offset our carbon footprint and become carbon neutral by 2050. We are influencing the consumer, we're influencing the brand companies, and I think we're influencing the broader petrochemical industry to follow us. But I'm not sure leadership is the most important thing going forward. I think the most important thing is that society starts to move and it moves at an accelerated pace. And then I think it's about this cultural influence that Brascom can continue to have. We're very engaged locally in the communities and we can move those communities, we can educate those communities just like we're doing with Plasti Anguis, with Franklin Institute, with the Philadelphia Eagles. And these are the types of ways that we can continue to move society and accelerate this movement towards a more sustainable future.